find out who Prince Harry told off for stealing a kiss with Meghan at Ascot. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their debut at Royal Ascot together on Tuesday, and all eyes were on the newlywed couple as they presented a trophy to Frankie Dettori, who won the St. James's Palace Stakes. The jockey, who rode to victory in the race after holding off a late challenge from Gustav Klimt, certainly lived up to his cheeky reputation taking the moment to give Meghan a kiss on the hand as he accepted his prize. The royal couple laughed as they congratulated Frankie, with Meghan giggling as Harry jokingly waggled his finger at the winning horseman after his show of affection. The Duchess, who was attending the event for the very first time, looked totally loved up with her new husband on their day out, which coincidentally fell on the one-month anniversary of their royal wedding in May. Meghan opted for a white Givenchy shirt dress for the occasion which ticked all the boxes of Ascot's strict dress code. She completed her ultra-regal look with a hat by Philip Tracy and swept her raven hair into an elegant low bun. Harry looked dapper at Meghan's side, meanwhile, wearing a three-piece suit and top hat. In a change of ways to the Duchess of Cambridge, however, who will always don a name badge at Royal Ascot, Meghan chose not to, with many royal watchers wondering why. It's thought that the Duchess dress was made from silk or another light material which would mean the fabric could pucker or leave noticeable marks should she have attached the name tag, whereas the Duchess of Cambridge has previously worn cotton or lace dresses to the event, which are less likely to be spoiled by the badge. Meghan isn't the only royal who has chosen not to wear it, as the Duchess of Cornwall has also previously omitted wearing the name tag. However, the only member of the royal family who is not officially required to wear one is the Queen.